everyone and welcome to the Learning Letter and welcome to another video for prepping for fourth grade. Um, I am actually filming this intro after I've already filmed the whole video because I apparently forgot to say hi. I don't know why. So let's get started. Um, we're looking at history first. Okay, so right now I'm just working on journeys through time. I am on ancient Greeks, um, but I've also skipped around a bit because when I was on the English National Trust website, I ended up getting loads of really great stuff to put into the different categories, different topics that we're going to be doing. Um, so I have gone all around the place. As in, you know, I've got, I, well, I started off doing, I did ancient Egypt first, then I went back into the Stone Bronze and, and Iron Age. But then while I was looking for the Stone Bronze and Iron Age, I found all kinds of stuff on, um, let me just find my list. Where are we? I'm scrolling down. Um, I was getting out of Egypt. So the Romans, the Tudors, Victorians, um, there are so many great links um, on there for all different kinds of things. There's recipes. So there was Roman burgers, queen drop biscuits for Victorians, honey oat and spice cakes for the Anglo-Saxons, period of history. Um, bacon Norman date loaf, bacon medieval meat pie, Tudor smart um, recipe, a, Georg a Georgian cabinet pudding, a wartime eggless Christmas pudding, and, and there was also wartime baker syrup cake, but without using sugar because obviously it was wartime so there's tons and tons of really great stuff and there's lots of links as well to different um videos that they've made on there they have a youtube channel as well um and then also which is really cool we were um members in the worst year ever in terms of being a member of anything <laughs> when you can't actually go because everything's closed so we were members of them for the year and they used to send us periodic magazines for kids magazines and i actually kept them because i thought uh, it was it was um for the you know the next level up and i thought that's great i'm going to keep those until we're ready to use them i mean you could obviously use them anytime you wanted to but i just thought because i knew we were going to be doing their journey free time in fourth grade i'll keep those magazines for this because there were things topic based so there was a vikings one there was a world war one there was um a romans one and an egypt one and so on so i kept them safe ready for this year but they because our membership ended um they stopped sending us the magazines however you can actually download them from their website which is amazing so i've done that so thankfully now we've got all the magazines for each of the periods of history that we're going to be doing pretty much a couple of them aren't there but mostly so i'm really happy about that but um i was super annoyed with them uh, after our membership ended because they'd written to us during you know that thing that's happened in the world youtube really doesn't like it when you say it in your videos um and said oh we'll extend everyone's membership because obviously we're closed and no one can come to any of our historical sites so we're like as i was thinking great you know we'll be able to do some once everything opens up however we got a letter saying um you know, we, we'll ha we're happy to extend your membership, but you have to renew for the next year. So in order to extend the membership, you have to renew for the next year, which I didn't want to do because of the uncertainty of are things actually going to open or not? I can, that ticket was, I think it was almost £170 for, you know, family ticket for the um, membership for the year. So I didn't want to renew again. So basically their offer of renewing was actually not really an offer at all because you had to repurchase a whole new year to get your extended time so there we go but they've made up for it a little bit in terms of having all the freebies on their website which i can use for our history this year but i'm still sad because there's so many great places that i really wanted to go to but everything was closed so we couldn't but you know that's life we're moving on <laughs> um i've also different periods um so i've got I've already, so although I'm actually on ancient Greeks, I've already got quite a few links for the Victorians, World Wars, um, and uh, where else? Wild West, you know, so I've already actually got quite a few diff things already on paper, well, from the computer for the different periods, but I'm working through the Explore Ancient Greeks book. Um, hang on, I'll show you it. Oh, you're resting on it, actually. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to prop you back up. Ah! There we go. Um, so I'm working through this one at the moment. So basically what, I, what I'm what i doing, sorry, I still haven't got a tripod, is going through them. Um, see the contents. So just go, having a quick look, you know, through them, looking at what themes they are. So for example, um, in this one, 
there'll be you know a section on games and play so I, then i'll see if i can find an activity that could go along with that although in our and this is where it comes in handy to have it in the mysteries and time subscription box it actually came with a little game that you could play so that was cool actually where did it come with the game i don't know it came with i think it did i think it came with a wooden yo-yo that you could paint um and then their actual activity in here because there's always a little activity is to make a mask so that'll be fun so what we what i'm doing is we'll read this we'll read sections from our other books that I've listed that we're going to be reading so it's things like let me just go all the way back to the beginning um the first encyclopedia of history then the DK encyclopedia of history DK timelines of everything um the scenes Osborne scene side books so for if it ha if I have one for the correct period in time um the DK knowledge encyclopedia of history the history of Britain visual guide so those are all my staples if you like and then I also have the um then I've also got the horrible histories box set for the different periods which it'll be really fun so we'll do some as read louds and then some assigned she can pick which one she'd like to read herself and then um I'll do some of them as read louds so it's things like savage stone age or some Egyptians groovy Greeks you know just really fun ones and then all the mysteries and time boxes come with a book as well so we're gonna have lots of fun with reading too and then I've also decided on re some historical read that, that uh, we're going to do and then also some read lads for history that she can do too. So that's what we're up to with history right now. Scouring Pinterest now for some ideas, um, things we can do and I found this one, Medusa's Mask. Uh, looks like a fun one. This looks really fun, Gingerbread House, house Parthenon. <laughs> Greek mythology character cubes look really fun as well. I also have the ancient Greece history pockets from Evermore, so I'm just going through those and writing down everything that all the activities that are included in this for us to do. We're gonna have a look. Ooh, it looks good. We're excited. Yeah. What it's looking like. Mm, we're excited. I'll let you know what we what we liked the best in a minute. To two. But there's still tons left, just in case you're wondering what the quantity is like. So in the yum bag, you got chocolate toffee and pistachio. Those are those two there. We got these, which were cheese and bacon flavour, little bugles. Um, lemon and black pepper flavour crisps. Spicy mangoes. The yum bag with the sweets, which you just saw. These um, caramel gold. And this little custard cake. So we'll let you know which ones we like best. And then I'll just show you a quick look in the brochure. Um, so you get some information about different boxes and some pictures and things from the uh, company. And you get all about Spain in 60 seconds. They give you something to listen to and then some words to speak. There's always a recipe. Um, there's trivia, a little trivia exercise. And then they give you information about the origins of each of your snacks, which is really interesting to read. We always read those before we try them. And then there's um, some little games here for you talking about a tradition in Spain. There's a re another recipe um and then a little quiz and then you get to vote oh i think the voting cards on the other one but i'll show you that in a second then you get the little information about what they sell in the um shop and then you get this little card um with all the information about spain on and then you get to vote on that one too and you get a sticker as well okay so try everything now um the little custard cream cake was lovely these were really nice these bacon and cheese flavor bugles um the lemon and black pepper flavor crisps were really nice they were smell amazing when you first put them in your mouth they taste lovely but then if you bite into them they are super spicy <laughs> um, but I don't do that much spice so it depends on what your palate's like these are delicious they're caramel flavour like they, they like remind me of the um, chocolate smarties um, or M&M's they're caramel flavour and they are gorgeous so nice Okay, so my daughter's going to give you her opinion for children. Okay, what is your favourite? Oh, my favourite is is those, those golden things. They're very heavenly tasty. Okay, so these golden... Oh, and those are the same. Heavenly too. Those caramel... Um, and she really likes these ones. They're well. sweet. They're very sweet, but they, they set your tongue on fire. <laughs> those ones set your tongue on fire. <laughs> what about the... Um, They're like... Like ghost peppers. What about the bugles and the lemon and black pepper? Oh, now, those two are heavenly. Are okay. Good? Good. So the only one we're not fond of is the spicy mango, so who are we going to give those to? <laughs> um, that. 
cake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and the cake was good, not too good though. Uh, she liked the cake, but it was, she said it was okay. Not too good, but it was well, not too good. So it's saying you don't like it, or it was only a bit good? It was a bit good. Okay, the cream filled snack cake. Mm. So that's our opinion on Universal Yums. I do have a link in the description box. Um, if you want to get five pounds off your first, uh, five dollars rather off your first box. Pack fell now, so she's gonna. We're gonna name the country, draw our snacks, put a little dot on where the country's located. What do we know about it from all the information? City, capital city, currency, continent, and draw a landmark. And we use um, the information that they give us to help us. And then we also look in our atlas and find it on the globe. Put it on our scrunch map, and then we're gonna find it on our Oregon smart globe. The one is flying the airplane right now. So it gives you a little song, and then you can check all these different facts about it as well. Can the maps book now for Spain? The passport as well. I'm going to read this story of Ferdinand as well. Um, it's a fun one. So she has finished reading her story in Hogwarts Trophies for today, and we read this, and now she is drawing Ferdinand under his cork tree. It's a lovely little story. We've read it before several years ago, but I think she's forgotten. And um, it was a lovely little story read to go along with our Universal Yums for Spain. We're just listening to some Disney music and having a little snack, some fresh and fruit. We finished school for the day so now I am going to do some laundry and I'm going to set the printer off to print bow off grammar. I am just going to fill it up. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to fill up the ink first before we start printing. The computer always does a different start screen and today it's picked Stonehenge and a little bit. <laughs> it's also gone really dark, I think it's gonna rain. Ready to fill the hungry printer. Just yellow and black that were hungry, so they're all fed now. Ready to print. There are 431 pages in the student book and um, how many in this one? 143 in this one which is the teacher's manual. This is printing now and I will do a flip through of that in another video. I'm going to prep some dinner now. Um, I'm going to do, you know, the tray bake style and I've got some chicken, some peppers, pineapple, corn, uh, red onion. I'm going to either serve with potatoes or rice. Uh, if I, if they want, everyone wants potatoes, I'll put them on the tray bake. If everyone wants rice, then I'll cook it separately. Let's come out of the oven. It looks delicious. Okay, so now I'm working on getting some different clip art things that I can use in our history journal. So I want to make it a journal style, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to go for, so that sort of uh, style. So lots of um, hand-drawn um, you know, things on the page for her to fill out and um, you know, journal through this big stack, our big periods of history <laughs> that we're going through. So obviously I already have printables that printable templates that I can modify that from that I've made myself that we can use so for example we can do a comic strip from a different period of history we can do a mini book obviously it's not going to be science but you know a mini book from a different period of history we can write a letter to a historical person um, we can study an actual person throughout history so I can reuse a lot of my principles anyway that I've made previously um, but I do want to make a couple of new things. So these are just things that I was thinking I can do a history roll of story for one of them. Um, I can, we can do a character setting problem historical story. So, you know, which historical characters are going to be in our story? Where is it? What period of history is it taking place in? What problems did they have? So it could either be fiction or non-fiction. Um, we could maybe do an animal fact file about some kind of maybe a prehistoric animal, um, that would be fun. Um, so I, I'm definitely going to reuse several of my principles and just change them obviously to fit the theme, but I also want to make some notebook style pages as well. So that's what I'm working on right now is getting some clip art um, that I can use. What I was thinking of doing is, is doing a similar layout, although not exact, to um, Dining on Science. So, you know, books, um, uh, for the starter, main course, you know, different activities that go along with it, different videos, dessert and buffet. So it's kind of similar to Dino Designs, but not entirely the same. Um, so those will be for me as in the teacher guide. I'm not sure if I'm going to put those for sale. I might. It just depends. I ha I do, so far, I have found lots of, um, things that I could use in instead of 
the subscription box to make it more generic for you in case you don't have the subscription box. Um, plus there's things that I want to do anyway, so it's not just making it generic for, for possibly to put it up for sale, but because actually I want some crafts in there too, apart from the subscription box. So um, it's a possibility that I might put the lesson plans, but if not, my plan is to put the journal on there. So you could do, you could get the time traveler journal that you could then use, you know, for whatever period of history you're doing, um, possibly. So that's what I'm thinking of doing, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It just depends um, once I'm done, because I always like to see it when it's finished to know if I feel confident that it's something I want to sell or not, because obviously I don't want to sell something that I wouldn't feel is good enough, you know, good enough quality or whatever. So I will um, see when it's done, but possibly the journal might go on sale on Teachers Pay Teachers. So just, you know, keep an eye out. Um, I'll, I'll mention it anyway in a future prep with me video if, if it is going on there but for right now I'm making it for us. Based in the notebooking pages on the Explore books, um, we are using lots of other books that go along with um, with Time Traveller or Travelling Through Time, whatever, <laughs> Journey Through Time, whatever I decide to call it. Um, so we are d using lots of different books but I think I'm going to base the notebooking pages on what's in the Explore books it's because, because they have similar although not identical themes. So for example, we can always do a notebook and page on who were there, and then obviously Vikings, um, Egyptians, you know, whatever. Um, I can talk about everyday life, because that's always um, generally one of the topics, or a day in the life of a child that lives there. Um, we can always look at their belief system there. We can look at facts and figures. We can do a timeline, um, you know, village life. Uh, stories, poems, if there's any, you know, that sort of page. Um, so this is where my principal would come in handy, so that a warrior's letter, so she could do her own letter. Um, so yeah, so that's my kind of what my thought process is for how the journal's going to look like. So different headings for various topics that, have, that, that seem to line up with what appears in the Explore books. Um, and then maybe some generic ones that we can use with any kind of... Um, any historical book that we have uh, so I think that's what that's what my journal is going to end up looking like. Finished printing um, I'll do a flip through of this on another video and I think I'm going to leave this video there for now so take care and I'll see you in our next one. Bye for now.